Uh, this oh, there morning, was a question I wanted to ask you that ooh, I think yes, is very hey. important okay. uh, to, just to know about somebody. Um, if you were a serial killer, what do you think your ritual would be? I would try and do... I would try and be different, so I would do movie-themed murders. Yeah. Yeah. I would try and do, like, oh, this person was beaten to death. He was he was bashed. He had his head bashed in. And it looks like we found the murder weapon here, this Maltese Falcon. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's like, oh, it looks like this person was crushed to death. The only thing that you can see is this person's ruby slippers. Yes. Yeah. So I would I would be doing movie themed. I would be doing movie themed murders. I I I I really like that. I really like that. I really appreciate it. I, I think that's that's a that's a very fine fine ritual. If um, anything, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit surprised at myself at how quickly I was able to come up with my serial killer ritual. Yeah. Like I'm already thinking of so many other ones. Like I would do like not just popular s murders, but also like some some real some ones that I would get really upset as a serial killer that people didn't get. Yeah. Like, oh, I I got all of the other murders, but this man was killed because a panther was trying to have sex with him. What movie is that from? And eventually I would be caught because I would just come out and say, come on, sex panther. Have any of you seen Anchorman? <laughs> and then that's how they get me because I no one yeah. gets some of my murders and I get upset. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. And and do the murders relate to the object? Like the yeah. Maltese Falcon, you hit the guy in the head. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. The person is crushed to death. Like I and like I try and figure out some jigsaw way where the man is crushed by a house. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. that's yeah. I would want it to be as eclectic as possible so that we can get a good laugh as people try to interpret it. Yeah. You know, so, so like, like I would, I would put a whole bunch of wacky shit down on slips of paper and put it in my hat and then draw out four or five of them just completely nice. at random. And then, but like once I've drawn them out, it stays that way. Okay, so I will have to take my victim to to a secluded place to perform the ritual, but then it would then it would be like, you know, they would be tied down and I would be setting up everything around them. So it would be like a Smurf, you know, some luncheon meat. Um. Catcher in the Rye. I think Catcher in the Rye just has to be there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and an, and a, a collectible TV guide, you know? Yeah. Just, just whatever. Just the wildest shit so we could both sit back. Because if I'm ser serial killing, I'm telling you. That's all there is to it. Yeah. But then we could sit back and laugh as they try to figure out what that means. Yeah, we would have the first podcast for serial killers. Yes. So that's good. We got that going for us, which yeah. is good. That that so, might be a way that we can we can up our listener listenership. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to work on that. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can get something going. Yeah. 